My name is H.A. Goodman, and I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. To, meet, to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, other publications, and to see my MSNBC, CNN, and RT appearances, go to hagoodman.com. To support this YouTube channel, go to my Patreon link below. If you enjoy this unique view on politics, somebody who wrote over 100 articles explaining that Bernie Sanders was infinitely better than Hillary Clinton and that Clinton would lose to Trump, if you enjoy this channel that exposes Democratic Party corruption, subscribe to the channel. This is very interesting. Today, somebody threatened to meet me outside, and I'm just going to call him a social justice warrior leftist because I'm on the left, but I'm not like this guy. Uh, this guy views, I guess I'm assuming he views uh, Charlottesville as the beginning of racism in America, whereas the past eight years under President Obama... They were never neo-Nazis marching. They were never uh, Klan members marching. Uh, the point is I differ on certain people from a small group online called Progressive Army. Um, they focus very much on euphemisms. I don't. They focus, and they say, well, white nationalists are going to you know, have tremendous political power. I say that they're not going to have political power. In fact, when I say white, na white nationalists don't exist, there's no such thing as an on, only a white nation, but I've explained that before, uh, and there's no way to implement that. So that's a difference of opinion I have with this guy, but his name is Use the Illusion In, and he's on Twitter all over my timeline. He, We were trying to set up a time. The interesting thing with this guy is that the other day, after he backed out because he had you know prior engagements, um, a couple, several weeks back, he wrote, you ready to debate? You'll be the third right-winger I've embarrassed this month. Well, I'm not a right-winger. <laughs> so he probably doesn't know what a right-winger is, but according to him, I don't have the same um, leftist ideology, so therefore I'm on the right. Then I put LOL anytime, tomorrow 5 p.m. works, uh, which is today. I have 6 p.m. Uh, we're still scheduled, uh, Tim Black and I, for no sellouts. I have a no sellouts show with the amazing Tim Black, very powerful progressive voice, every day at 6 p.m. Pacific. So he goes, I'm not on Twitter all the time, guy. This is DMs. And then he goes nuts, uh, attacking, well, trying to intimidate me and threatening to meet me outside my house. I kind of figured someone would have confirmed a time in the DM beforehand, but then I log on and see you already announced it before uh, confirming. I didn't announce a time. I said, you know, we're, we're going to go debate. It was already announced prior. Why don't the loser of this debate donate three hundred dollars to to the winner's pick of a certain charity? Make it interesting. How do you win or lose a debate? Everyone who agrees with him, I mean, generally most people who watch my channel find that I have easily defeated everyone I've debated. I would easily defeat this guy, but how do you even do that? It's a subjective call. We're not arm wrestling. Uh, I'd probably beat him in arm wrestling, but anyway. Um, since you're since you're by the way this since you're uh, by the way, this is the first time I've ever heard of a leftist who aligns politically with one of the most conservative congressmen, Trey Gowdy. <laughs> I don't know how I aligned with Trey Gowdy. I did this. He's like delusional. Um, I might have retweeted something. If I lose, I'll donate to his pack for you. So he assumes that <laughs> I would want money donated to Trey Gowdy. Okay, anyway. Um, then I wrote, uh, you know, da -da 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 -da. don't know what he's talking about. Okay, that works for me. You can describe how I aligned with Gowdy during the debate. I'll have a rebuttal. Okay, that works for me. You aren't a leftist, and I'll pull your card. For instance, how are you? Uh, how are you on the left? Trump ends DACA, uh, which I'm against. Uh, yet you say nothing about it, and instead talk about Clinton ending it is a big deal. Yet it doesn't even cross your radar. Well, this guy first saying that I have nobody pays attention to me. Then he wants me to talk about it. So he's all over the place. You talk about none of these policies that the left has been fighting for. Yeah, but the left deliberately lost to Trump. I was explaining to the left and people like this guy that they would lose in 2015. He obviously never read my writing. Only you could blame the DNC and Clinton for Charlottesville, actually, um, instead of the actual Nazis that were that are re responsible. Yeah, the Nazis are responsible, of course, um, the neo-Nazis. Uh, but it was a somewhat staged event. People, uh, media was hyping it up for a long time. Um, Heather Heyer should be alive today. The, that clash should never have taken place. It was directly linked to DNC propaganda. The DNC and the Democratic Party used it to um, basically um, foment this passion and anger among people like this guy. 
uh, a white guy telling people of color that racism and white supremacy is not real. I never said that. So I said white nationalism. So that's another thing. I told this one guy who was a progressive army writer when we debated the X class. This is one of my last debates. We spent 10 minutes for him to finally admit I never said that racism or white supremacy uh, didn't exist. Is Trump ending DACA not a big deal for yes or no? Yes, it is, but okay, I know I'm a bad person. Dude, this is DM. Can we pick a day? Seven-ish good? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, I'm a bad person. I'm really a dickhead. You will see. Okay, then I go, today I have no sellouts. It's 5 p.m. I should have just said seven. This could have been averted. I would have loved to debate the guy. Um because from six to seven, but I wanted time before. So anyway, uh, since I live less than a block away, shouldn't I just go to your place? That way we can be in the same shot. Why would I, why would two men want to be in the same shot? Why would two men, why would two guys who disagree with each other? So this, this, I mean, obviously you're looking at a physical confrontation, which is what he's trying to insinuate. And why would I want anyone uninvited to my place to walk a block away if they live a block away, but you don't get paid for no sellouts. And if you miss, no one will notice and Tim uh, won't, won't care. And then this guy is talking about Tim. Uh, hello, uh, guy, I told you very first time I spoke with you, I was your neighbor. So he says I'm, uh, he, he's my neighbor. I get off then, 6 p.m. Pacific, will work. Your lady knows my wife. Your lady knows my, my wife doesn't know your wife, crazy person. Nobody I don't know you <laughs> or, and nobody in my family knows your wife. Uh, use D, illusion N. Then, um, this is the guy on Twitter. I'll just go outside in 15 minutes and message you. I am weird, just not a weirdo. Why would you do that? Why would you physically intimidate somebody? You know very well that this is intimidating, or not to me. I mean, it is intimidating to me, but I could definitely take care of myself. But the point is, why would you stalk somebody online simply because you are uh, king of the leftists that you disagree with my viewpoint so at the same time this guy says nobody listens to me but he wants he wants to meet me at my place to prove that nobody listens to me okay mr goodman 6 p.m pacific good for you so he knows that i can't do six but he tries to everything will make sense to you sooner or later i fight for leftist causes my whole life i take it seriously and when i see a charlatan come in and mislead people and use trickery to advance a right-wing agenda i take it personally i've written for bernie sanders uh, written 100 plus articles in the hill the huffington post and salon uh this guy i don't think was published even in salon or the huffington post so maybe he's a writer which would be fantastic if he is um why is your girl the only breadwinner in your family? That's not true. You do real, and it's, it's like he gets personal. You do realize that she is frustrated because your pundit job is not putting diapers on the baby and providing for your family. This, this guy is out of his mind. And since and and since you have embarrassed yourself so much that will never be invited back on a cable news channel or write for a major publication again, I'm just published the other day in the Huffington Post. I can write in many major news publications i have uh probably more so than this guy uh but i focus more on my youtube channel and some other projects but why am i even <laughs> defending myself on this is ridiculous uh of course i'll debate you um one put you think you're slick you're putting our dms on, I, I come with an advantage so make sure next time you try to play me realize that i will embarrass you so bad you will never want to log on twitter again i don't care use the illusion about twitter i care about people who are cyber stalking and many people have dm'd me saying that you've broken the law. Again, you thought you were going to make our DMs public and I would roll over? Keep it up and I will post my receipts, which will embarrass the fuck out of you and ruin what's left of your career. What made you think showing our DMs to Twitter was a good idea? Give me your thoughts below. This guy threatened to meet me at my house. He threatened physical harm, intimidated, and I believe it's called cyberstalking. Give me your thoughts below. Share this segment everywhere.